I do not buy many compact discs anymore after discovering, rediscovering my love of vinyl. But occasionally I'll pick one up at the thrift store. This is one. I think I paid uh, a buck for it. Uh, James Brown's 20 All-Time Greatest Hits. I was thrilled to find this until... I looked at the playing side and you can see some scratches on here. I think this will be a good candidate to resurface. I did uh, have some skipping. I have a really nice Philips compact disc player which has played through a lot of discs with uh, some scratching but doesn't like this one for some reason. Uh, probably those scratches right there. So we're going to try to resurface this with the Skip Doctor. No, I did not pay $35. I did not pay $19.99. What I paid for Skip Doctor, $2.99. So... We're not going to shed any tears uh, over what I spent for this thing. I think this is an original. Uh, this was voted best of show, consumer electronics show, in the year 2000. So, not expecting any miracles here, but we're going to give this thing a good college try. From the brief research I've done on this device... This company, Digital Innovations, is actually still in business. And not only do they make the Skip Doctor, but they also make a motorized Skip Doctor and all kinds of uh, cleaning and storage devices. So kind of cool that they're still around uh, since 2000. I don't think I'm going to make this an unboxing video or a how-to video, but we'll show you what's in the kit. As far as I can tell, this kit's been unused. Everything's there, and we'll go through it. No trickery or voodoo in any of my videos. We're going to show you everything that came in this box, and we're going to read off the contents from the side of the box, included in this package are the Skip Doctor, which is the resurfacing unit, the disc holder, which is this wheel right here, the accessories, uh, the resurfacing wheel, which is inside right there, resurfacing fluid, which essentially, they call it filtered water, it's distilled water that simple. Drying cloth, which is this blue cloth right here. Felt buffing square, which is right there. Storage pouch, which I'm guessing is this Ziploc bag. Booklet, user's guide, right there. So there's all the contents. I'm very new to this, so have a heart. CDs are typically not my thing. Snap disc holder onto lower jaw spindle. First open jaw by pressing tabs on side opposite of window. Snap your damaged disc, label side down, onto disc holder. Spray entire disc with provided resurfacing fluid and close jaw. From what I've read online, most people say it takes about three sprays. I'm going to do this off camera, and we're going to give this thing a spin. It's not that bad, not that bad at all to turn this thing. It took about 110 cranks. We took one revolution through. Uh, the instructions say to wet it again, flip the switch, the reversibility switch on the handle, and then take it through another go around. So... We'll do that off camera. Okay, we did that, and part of the fun of doing this is you get to do it off camera, and 
you avoid all those comments about doing it all wrong. So I'm sure I'll get those anyways, uh, people bashing this system that this is doing it all wrong. But hey, they're only compact discs. Okay, we've got our resurfaced disc here. Next step is to dry it with the, the blue drying cloth, which I'm guessing is just a microfiber cloth. So we'll do that. We've got our disc dried off with the blue cloth. Next step is to lie it, lie the disc onto the blue cloth and do buffing with this square. And we're going to do it by the radius. So from the center out. So we'll do that again off camera. Visually at least, I'm impressed. A lot less scratches on the disc. The the sanding wheel inside the skip doctor does leave a little bit of a pattern, so don't get overly alarmed. Uh, it's it's going to show up, but uh, this disc looks 100% better. Uh, we're not going to get arrested by the copyright police, so I'm going to listen to this disc off camera and share some thoughts. All right. How do we do with this crazy contraption? Pretty good. Honestly, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm not blown away, and I'll tell you why, but I'd say don't pay 35 bucks for one of these. Don't pay $19.99. If you see one at a yard sale or you see one in a thrift shop for two or three bucks, as you know, I paid $2.99 for it. Grab it. Uh, you get nothing to lose. This disc was really scratched pretty bad. And let me clue you in on a little bit of secret, a little bit of a secret on compact discs. They were over-engineered when they were first designed and made. And there's many layers of plastic covering the data that's on the inside of each disc. There were years where people were afraid of losing their music collections because of this uh, phenomena that very few people experienced and they called it laser rot. I have a copy of Paul Simon's Graceland that I bought when it was brand new when it came out in the 80s. Might have been 80s or 90s. I it's a nice disc, um, but the physically the disc itself had all kinds of, you could see on the inside, it, it had perforations and uh, just spots where that data on the inside, the shiny part, uh, was gone and you, you could actually look right through it. 2018, that disc plays fine. So uh, don't be afraid to, you know, beat one of these compact discs up. And I, I actually, I ran it through the uh, Skip Doctor four times. And don't be afraid of that. Um, these things are, they're made to last. And, you know, if you've got a scratch disc that you have had for many years or maybe one that you picked up at a thrift store or yard sale take it through run it through a skip doctor um, you got nothing to lose and you know I'm playing this disc that would not play on this CD player now it tracks fine the first track which is I feel good plays pretty good and it, it did it skipped a couple of times but nowhere near how it was skipping before and that's on my my Philips uh, changer which is a very good tracking player I even ran one of these things through it and I bought this years ago when DVDs first came out you can see they've got it tagged for CDs DVDs and CD-ROMs, and it's a Maxell laser lens cleaner, model CD340. Now, 
people are going to debate these things if they work or not. Um, I don't know because I've never used it before today. I've had it all these years and uh, just opened it up and played it. Uh, basically, you play track two for 20 seconds. They say you can go more, but whatever it does, I'm guessing it does some type of abrasion or polishing of the uh, laser lens, which is undoubtedly plastic. I, I highly doubt it's glass. I could be wrong, but, you know, don't be afraid to beat some of this stuff up. You can always buy, gosh, I mean... For what CDs are going for nowadays and, and what CD players are going for at thrift stores, don't be afraid. You know, I had nothing to lose here. I paid, as I mentioned, two ninety nine for this Skip Doctor. And it was $2.99 well spent. I'll tell you the only tip that I can give you when you're using this resurfacing fluid which is undoubtedly distilled water keep the disc wet because well I'm I can try to show you this is a basically a sandpaper grinding wheel on the inside and it's going to be very abrasive on the disc so you want to keep that thing wet and of course you want to make sure that your playing surface is uh, facing upward. In other words, the shiny surface without any uh, writing on it. So those are the only tips I can give you, but um, you know, for three bucks, why not pick one of these things up? Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care for now.